I told Deke, I said, one thing about Deke is going to be Deke. He has his own unique style. And let me tell you, when the Florida boys love good doing time you wedding, they love them some Deke. <laughs> he showed them how to walk and all that. And man, you should saw Deke in front of them, while all of them from Florida. And they had their hands in the pocket. That's what I tell you. And you know what? That says a lot right there. Amen. Amen. Could y'all please put, out, put your hand together for Deacon Tom? Let's clap our hands for the Lord. about agape love. Agape love means a selfless love of a person for another without sexual, yeah. sexual implication, especially love that is spiritual nature. Mm -hmm. Peter denied Christ three times. Mm -hmm. Peter had to give in. He had to give Christ first place. Christianity is giving Christ pre immensely, meaning high stakes, important on to mark super art. Number two, God is looking for a courageous man. Mm -hmm. Joshua and Caleb was courageous. God told Moses to send men to survey Canaan. Moses sent one man from each tribe. Mm -hmm. They searched the land for 40 days. Ten came back and said, we can't take the land. But Joshua and Caleb, they stood in. Yes. They was courageous. Uh -huh. They was the only two that entered the promised land. Mm -hmm. Number three, God is looking for a consecrated man. Mm. Daniel was a consecrated man. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Daniel was second in command under King Darius. Mm -hmm. The rulers of the land sought to find occasion against him. Mm -hmm. They persuaded the king to make a decree. The people wanted to pray. The people were to pray only to the king. If a man prayed to another, he would be cast to the lions. Mm -hmm. The decree could not be changed. Daniel continued to pray. To God three times a day. The men saw Daniel praying. They told the king he was troubled. He cast Daniel to the lion den and Daniel prayed for him. That's being a consecrated man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Daniel was faithful and God blessed him. Yeah. Yeah. Number four, the Lord is looking for a consistent man. Job was consistent. Job was a godly father and he was prosperous. Satan permitted to test him. He lost his property and lost his children. Yeah. Job was afflicted. Yeah. His wife told him to curse God, but he was faithful. Amen. Job had three friends. Seven days of silence, sin, and suffering. But Job was faithful, and his property was restored. Yeah. God does 
does not need Sunday morning Christians. He needs consistent men. Yeah. Hallelujah. God needs, number, number six, God needs a compassionate man. Yes. Paul was a compassionate man. Paul was a religious leader. He didn't care about his past. He just wanted to please God. He wanted the same for others. Paul was a for others. Everywhere Paul went, he gave his testimony. God want men with warm hearts and willing hands. God want men that would kneel in prayer. God want men weep over lost souls. God want men who have a vision. Men are standing, men God is standing before us today with his finger pointing. He's saying, I want you. Will you heed to the call today to be a Christian man? Will you give Jesus Christ first place in your life? Oh. Or will you make him the president instead of the resident? Are you courageous today? Will you say, I 